Hello, my name is Victor. I'm a head of SEO in New Optima. And in this video, I'm gonna explain how you could uh, use SEO as a marketing channel for cybersecurity company. So if you own a cybersecurity company, how you can get uh, traffic from, uh, from Google search, like free organic traffic. We have a pretty good article on this topic on our website, so you can go and read it. But uh, in this video, I'm gonna explain like a little bit from another angle and more detail in some way. So like some details will be in a video, some details will be in an article, uh, and this video will be more about examples. So when we, I, I will just use a random cybersecurity um, websites just to, just to show. So because we have an NDA with our uh, our cybersecurity clients. So, uh, and I will walk you through their strategy and I will walk you through what you really need to do and what you need to avoid, like whole SEO strategy on a, on a cybersecurity company and uh, like full transparency. So just, um, just open this random website. Uh, I've just Googled cybersecurity services in London and um, open this website and uh, when uh, let's let me explain a little bit about what we see on the screen uh, by the way it's an hrefs it's a tool for um, seo specialists to analyze websites and um, all that stuff so we have a uh, name uh, and a title domain you have like hrefs rank is not really relevant right now and ur rank is also not relevant uh, domain rating is a uh, how good is backlinks profile, uh, amount of backlinks, referent domains, organic keywords, which is interesting because uh, to be able to get some traffic, you need to be shown in a Google search engine results. So if you don't have any organic keywords, which your website rank for, you cannot get any traffic. And this is, this is a very basic part of SEO, uh, which you really need to keep in mind when you do any SEO work. So to be able to get some customer on your website, you need to have a page which will be relevant for this specific uh, this specific uh, search queries. And organic traffic is amount of uh, monthly visitors who are visiting your website from a Google search. And the traffic value is how much, um, what's the estimated price for their traffic, if you will go to Google Ads and, and will buy that traffic from Google Ads, so how much money you save in monthly by doing by having good SEO results? And let's go to organic search and to understand how that website is performing. So we can see this website performing pretty good because organic traffic is going up almost like every month, and the amount of organic keywords is also going up amount of organic keywords on the first page is pretty pretty similar to amount of organic traffic because obviously all traffic goes from from a first page um our traffic value may vary because of like it is not super accurate it just gives you an idea but it's not accurate enough to to say that's 100 percent real number uh, but some traffic is more uh, expensive some traffic is less expensive for example services traffic when somebody is looking for cyber security services for small business in london it, it's pretty pretty expensive traffic or like cyber security services in london is it, pretty expensive traffic um but traffic like what to do if my i don't know like gmail was uh, uh, like somebody got a password uh, some hackers got into my Gmail, this traffic will be less uh, less expensive. What we need to do, where we need to go in this tool um, to see like exact strategy, we need to go to top pages, report, one second, my window is frozen, top pages, yes, top pages report. And in top pages, you need to go a little bit uh, lower to this part to really understand what pages are driving traffic to this website. In, in, in this case, I believe it's your competitor or maybe a similar website in, uh, in another, um, another city. So we clearly can see that there are several types of pages, which is services pages, one part, 
and the blog pages is a different part. And as you can see, there are there are pretty there is pretty a lot of different services and a lot of different uh, blog pages. To be able to analyze only services pages, you need to put this over there and you will be able to see all services pages. So this website has um, 24 services pages and all other pages. Uh, so in total we have 390 pages. So only, um, only, only 24 pages from total amount of uh, almost 300 are services pages. So fr from this point, you already can see pretty clear that you need to have pages like, like that for every service. And uh, you can go like find any, any other website in the cybersecurity niche and uh, you will be able to see that um, services pages. For example, if we will analyze this side as well, uh, we probably will see that they have a lot of services driving them traffic. But this website, um, in comparison to website before, has less traffic and less traffic value. Let me show you one second. So we have much less uh, organic traffic and organic keywords compared to website before because all pages are related to services and there is no much blog pages. But as you can see, traffic value is not that different because traffic for services is much more expensive. So uh, exact strategy for um, for uh, website in cybersecurity niche. Uh, first of all, you need to create all your services pages and you need to create your services pages uh, based on search intent of your real uh, potential clients, not just like my services, but you need to go, you need to go through your competitors and understand what pages do they have and collect all the data from all your competitors on what pages drives them traffic and uh, create all that pages. You can also go to, uh, for example, keyword tools uh, and analyze, let me show you something. So you can go, you, you can, for example, take cybersecurity services as a keyword and analyze what people also look for. Uh, so you need to create all that services pages. And um, the biggest question is that structure because um, because if you don't have a page to rank for, for some service, you will not be able to get that traffic. And after you will create all that uh, pages, uh, which are obvious, um, you need to go deeper into a niche and niche down some uh, keywords to be able to get more relevant and less uh, competitive uh, keywords. For example, if we analyze cybersecurity services, uh, this keyword is pretty difficult to rank for. But if we analyze cybersecurity services for, we can see that uh, there are people who are looking for cybersecurity for financial services, which is like niching down. And we, if you will have that, um, if you will have a page on your website about how good is you in serving cybersecurity services for financial services, uh, probably you will be able to rank good uh, with that page and to get really high in a Google search results and to get relevant traffic and that people already understand that they don't need some random cybersecurity, uh, cybersecurity company. They need cybersecurity company which can um, help financial services or like cybersecurity services for small businesses. And you can create a landing page where you can explain that we are the agency for um, like we are the company we are the cybersecurity company which do cybersecurity services for small businesses and it's like our priority and you have a landing page about that and you create that land landed page which you don't which your competitors don't have so i'm not just revealing um usual strategy in this market i'm like even go explain how you can go deeper and create that kind of pages, that kind of services. And when you will cover, like there is a lot of keyword research behind that. So you, you need to 
put every every service name and for example add four and find all that kind of keywords uh, and create all that kind of pages uh, so f first of all you need to create services pages second you need to create like that niche down uh, services pages and also you need to go through your competitors blogs analyze top pages for your successful competitors who have good enough blog and um, maybe maybe this one so yeah like blog like like that or 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 like that if you if you go through through competitors you'll find a lot of like informational blog pages and create that them as well and when we you establish that structure when you have that that's three layers with exact services niche down services and blog you will have uh, the thing we call topical authority because you will be ranked for a lot of keywords in this niche and that this position when you become an, an expert in this niche when you already rank for a lot of keywords in this niche and blog really help with that you will be able to get um, much more like trust from Google's perspective and because of that your services pages will go up and your niche down services uh, will probably will be on the first page already and your blog pages will attract more traffic and because you have if you will have really interesting uh, really interesting uh, pages in a blog mm, you will be able to get free backlinks because from our our experience we publish some amount of backlinks but a lot of backlinks we just get for free because we create really good content and publish on our website on clients websites um, so yeah that's that's a great way to to get a free backlinks Talking about backlinks, it's uh, like 100% of times we have that uh, that question because everybody who knew something about SEO asking about backlinks. Uh, the best way is only white hat. Uh, so you need to create really good piece of content, uh, publish it on your website and get some, some backlinks from other publications or you can establish relationships with other websites and uh, create kind of um, promo material kind of uh, really good article on third-party website uh, which will be relevant to your website and mention your services that's also a good way um, but the further you go the more traffic you have the more the more backlinks you will be getting basically for free from another website I can just show you as an, as an example uh, our own website we we do not publish all that almost eight eight hundred backlinks. We publish like we really publish by ourselves, maybe a little bit more than two hundred or something like that. And six hundred are just like free backlinks because we we do really good content. So um, why I'm revealing just that strategy? Why I'm like take it for free video will be available online uh, because it's not that easy to establish how that process because when you really start to uh, execute on that you need to get done really good uh, job on creating structure and really good job on creating all that keywords and you need to understand how one keyword helps other keyword on other pages what content you need published to one page to to like increase the results of other page because for example if you will publish two pages with very similar search intent they will be competing in google search so one challenge is to create a perfect structure which is not not that obvious that it may sound i'm trying to explain that but it is a 20 minute video another challenge is the content because um because content uh, is a big deal you cannot just hire a random content writer and ask him to create um to create an article like please write an article for uh, i don't know pen testing something like that red teaming um you cannot do that because you will have at the end of the process just bad bad piece of content and that piece of content will uh <laughs> maybe a reason to penalize your website if 
call your website will be created from that bad piece of pieces of content um, so you need to uh, you need to have whole process of creating content for your website so you, first of all you need whole that process to create structure whole that process of creating content and you cannot ask a really technical person to write that content because it will be crazy expensive uh, as I show you some websites has hundreds some websites has thousands of pages um, and you will not be able to like put a real technician uh, person to to write that content and um, because it's, it will be crazy expensive and that content even if you will be able to to put a real uh, technical specialist and, and create all that content that content may be not just relevant from a for any search queries from google's perspective because google you kind of need to optimize that content to be able to get search traffic from google because just creating content just creating good amazing content is not enough as well uh, so first uh, first challenge is structure second challenge is um, uh, content which is which is huge and uh, third challenge is the backlinks because one second So yeah, third challenge is a backlinks because to be able to really get a backlinks which will uh, increase your ranking but not decrease and not like increase but then decrease, um, you need to, like what we do, we establish a relationship with uh, third party websites. We publish backlinks there for our test websites, for our previous client, for our own website, and we have the data data on how each backlink affect uh, ranking for every page and that data is huge because um like first few hundred backlinks to be honest is like blindly blindly published like you not fully blindly you you can guess what what effect they will have but after that you really you really understand what backlinks will improve a ranking, what backlinks are not, and you picking only that backlinks and only that like bullet points of your strategy, which will really improve a ranking for for your website. So at the end of the day, if you can establish uh, establish good structure, have all landing pages, have an amazing content, have a team producing that content, have somebody proofreading, optimizing it and uh, have all that backlinks the only thing is um like also need to be done is a uh, branded search and uh, brand awareness and pr which is also um, may affect your seo because when people actively googling your campaign your company in a in a google search google kind of understand that and Google prefer that websites which has more like brand recognition and uh, more trust from users compared to websites with like zero, zero domain authority, zero branded traffic and, and like zero, uh, zero brand recognition. So that's that's pretty much it. Uh, please go through through this article as well. I will put a link in the description, or like you can just tape this uh, this into your um, browser. Because in this article, we are willing what the search demand uh, is it going up or down? We can see that cybersecurity services like search demand for cybersecurity services is going up actually. It is pretty hard to rank for that keywords, but as I under as I mentioned before, you can niche down. You can go to all that uh, like interesting ways uh, with a structure to be able to target less uh, competitive keywords. You can go analyze all that keywords. We have a lot of like screenshots, examples, examples of a websites who has um, like <laughs> this amount of traffic um and uh, doing that with also having um like blog pages services pages and all that stuff um so yeah go 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 through that article and if you have any questions you can request like free audit we, we do that you can book a call and like talk to our um our team uh, about your your business and how you want to improve that 
yeah so feel free to drop a comment as well and subscribe to to this channel or in contact with us any any way you want see you bye bye